Okay, so ISTJs are supposed to be the most common type. So I'm expecting the rate of relationships and marriages to increase greatly after this video. One of my theories about how to seduce a type, i.e. get them to like you in various ways, is to make use of and target their inferior function. This is because a type isn't great at this function and the traits and behaviours linked to it, but in some sense they do still value it and love it when they can use it well and have good experiences with it. Obviously there is a lot more to consider, but it's a nice place to start. Inferior Extroverted Intuition I would describe ISTJs as a control type, which is a polite way of saying they are controlling in certain ways. They like to have a handle or grip on their environment, to be able to regulate things, keep track of them and maintain them. Disruption is not something they're a fan of. Their SI dominates their NE in that way. One is the lens through which they view and approach the world, and the other is the opposite flavour. They are intimately connected, one cannot exist without the other, but it's a complex and sometimes contentious relationship. So, you need to give ISTJs any like experiences in a way that is palatable to them. You need to inject a little bit of chaos, and even disruption, without being too, well, chaotic and disruptive. Variations on a theme the easiest way to inject variety into the life of ISTJs, who are naturally creatures of habit, is to use what I'll call variations on a theme. By which I mean, to take something they already do, or like, and adjust it slightly, or perhaps add something small and subtle to it. Let's say for example you are out at a restaurant, and you know that they will order the same thing every time. Instead of saying, just branch out, and take a risk on a new dish, recommend something like a side or a sauce, something that could go with the meal, that they haven't tried before. That way you're not upending anything. You're not making them feel guilty for being repetitive or even predictable in certain areas. And you're also showing them that you're not going to be a disruptive force in their life, but instead one that complements it and brings more to the table. Literally, in this case. If you happen to be someone who likes variety for its own sake, then baby steps is the way to go. If they trust that the suggestions you give will go down well, because that is the prevailing experience they've had with you, then they'll be much more inclined to follow you down weird and wonderful paths in the future. Over-communicate your plans. ISTJs are every bit the planners and schemers that INTJs are. They dislike it when people are changeable too much. If your plan is to go with the flow, then that probably won't work. There are two broad options here. One is simply to let the ISTJ do all the planning, which they will gladly do, but if you pick that path, you do always have to follow the plan. The alternative is to over-communicate. If you yourself are quite a chaotic person, who is very changeable, especially with plans, then simply over-communicating any updates, or changes, or 180 turns, will be very useful and appreciated by ISTJs. I'd say that ISTJs would probably agree with the notion that a bad plan is better than no plan. It's simply the way that they approach things, and it's hard for them to switch that off. So constantly robbing them of that probably won't be sustainable. There's definitely some ways you could meet them in the middle, though. Let's say you're planning a night out, or some kind of trip. You could simply let the ISTJ plan their part alone, so they know exactly what they're going to do. It removes the uncertainty for them. And often the functions are about psychological comfort, so when they have that plan, uncertainty, that kind of reliable foundation, they'll happily deviate from it if need be, but it needs to be there in some form at the beginning. So, one seductive approach to take with ISTJs is to bring new experiences, ideas, and approaches into their life, but in a way that's not disruptive or chaotic. Basically, you're respecting their need for structure, stability, and consistency, whilst also helping them remove the negatives that approach to life often causes them. This approach is very simple and straightforward, but is the perfect basis for friendship with ISTJs, and that in turn can lead to much more as well, if that's your desire. If you are an ISTJ watching this video, since you are the most common type, allegedly, please feel free to become the most common subscribers to the channel as well.